Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Hamilton with 5280 Angler with a fishing report. I have head guy Gino Ray with me today. Hey folks. So uh, <laughs> so we're here at Boxwood Gulch today. Uh, it's a nice winter day. Maybe you can see my breath. We got the fire behind us and uh, just finished up a great day here at Boxwood. Gino, how'd you do? Not too bad. Uh, the weather was a little rough, very cold. It started snowing in the afternoon, but uh, the fishing was actually pretty decent. Good. Yeah, I had a good day too. So, uh, Boxwood and Longmeadow have been uh, one of the one of the bright spots for us so far in the early winter. Um, it's been it's been fishing great. We have dates open in December, uh, so it's a great time to come out and and give Boxwood and Longmeadow a try. Uh, I believe what's the rate? Two ninety five a person. Two ninety five a person. Um, so so that's that's the best rate you're going to get after the first of the year. Rates are going up. Uh, so, so uh, you know, this is a good time to do it. Flows so, are real good. Uh, like I said, the flows are really, really good. The fish are on. A little chilly, but the fishing's been fantastic. And it's a good chance to catch a 30-inch fish. Definitely. So, or or maybe bigger. Um, so, so Deckers, why don't you talk about Deckers? I know you've been there recently. Yeah, I just fished it yesterday, as a matter of fact. Uh, the flows are low, a um, little bit challenging. Uh, water's cold. Uh, been working uh, leeches, uh, worms, eggs egg patterns, midges, uh, small darker stones have been working really well with uh, leech patterns. What's um, been what's been your best midge? Uh, I would have to say a black rainbow warrior has mm -hmm. been my my top performer. Yep, those have been good. Uh, also some some uh, when, when we fished that last time we uh, we did find some dry fly activity. Uh, uh, blue winged olives are, are going small ones. Uh, and then midges too. Small midges. Yep. So so uh, I like uh, parachute atoms. Um, Comparaduns, yep, uh, and uh, and then my favorite midge, my favorite dry fly midge. Of course, there's the Griffith snat, um, but I like a Matt's midge, uh, which is uh, a little more obscure, but it's but it's a great fly. Sparkle Dunn's been working really well. Yeah, so uh, so Decker's has been good. Um, I also like to add in there zebra midges, uh, Mercury Black Beauties, maybe some red midge larva. Uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit bigger on those. Midge pupa um, and the dark olives and browns have been working pretty good. Yeah, so so pre pretty much any smaller stuff. A pale midge larva always works well. And don't um, neglect the buckskin. Yeah, that's been a good performer yeah. in the winter time. Yep, RS 2s even little. Yep. Red crust has been working pretty good. Oh, okay. I haven't I haven't tried those. So uh, so pretty much along the South Platte, uh, that's that's going to be the recipe. Um, those those flies tend to work well. You know, if they're working well at Deckers, they're also going to work well in Cheeseman Canyon. Uh, if you want to venture up in there into the cold, uh, Dream Stream, Eleven Mile Canyon, all Definitely. all of them are going to fish the same. Um, also, uh, been getting good reports out of Williams Fork and uh, the Colorado and Roaring Fork. I know Marcelo's been up there doing well. Again, <laughs> it's just winter fishing. The 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 flies are going to be basically the same thing right now. Egg midge combos uh, are going to be pretty much the ticket. So, uh, so yeah. Anything else to add, Gino? Uh, go light tip it five six x. You yeah. know that water's low. It's gin clear. The fish are, you know, they're not moving very much. And uh, you got to hunt them up. Stay out of the riffles. I don't. I haven't been finding them no, in the riffles. Look, look for the shelves and the and the deeper runs. That's a good point. Yeah, it, you can spend an awful lot of time fishing riffles and stuff, and and just waste time. You're not going to catch any fish. So. Right. Find the deep runs. The fish are going to start potting up and and uh, hunkering down for winter. That's where you're going to find them. Right. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, like I said, uh, come out and uh, and fish boxwood this winter, and uh, and you know come come catch some big fish. Boxwood Long Meadow. You can fish both properties uh, for two ninety five a person. And as always, uh, follow us at uh, on fifty two eighty angler on Instagram and Facebook. 5280angler.com. You can follow me on Instagram, Jeremy Hamilton Fly Fishing, and Gene Ray Fly Fishing. Sounds good. We'll see you on the water. Tight lines.